All right, thank you. 501 is your time. You know, Austin is known for having lots of events in town. Just about every weekend we see that. And many of those events get city fees waived. But today, City Council is going to examine if funding for those fee waivers should continue to pull money out of the general budget. Kate White is live for us at Austin City Hall with your details. Good morning. Good morning, Sally. Well, the idea behind these fee waivers is part thank you from the city of Austin for holding your event right here in this city and also part economic lore for the city of Austin for the benefit they could receive. Now, when it comes to small scale events, say like a Girl Scout group having an event in a park, well, the $100 fee waiver is not a big deal. But when the proposal before City Hall today is dealing with large scale events like South by Southwest, I want to give you an example here. This year, the city waived fees for things like park use litter cleanup and parking spaces. The city also covered the cost for city services like police, trash, fire and barricades. Now, as you can see on your screen, the grand total added up to just over $755,000 waived money out of the general budget. In fact, the city's finance department states that between 2009 and 2013, $3.4 million in fee waivers were issued. Half of that money went to South by. Now, during that time frame, the city also spent $24 million on expenses, but only collected about half of that in revenue. So that's why council member Kathy Tova wants city staff to examine or examine rather the benefit versus the cost of the city. The item isn't to eliminate fee waivers, but to set up a different source of funding so it's not coming from the general budget. What I'm proposing is is that we really treat those large scale events as economic incentive um, proposals and look really carefully at at the financial benefit that the city um, gets from, from supporting those. So today, council is going to be voting on whether or not city staff should be directed to look at a different source for funding fee waivers from festival organizers that are requesting $60,000 or more from the city to be waived. Now, right now, each city department receives about $6,000 a year to be able to waive fees for things like the Veterans Day Parade or Marathon Kids. That likely will not change. Of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live from Austin City Hall, Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. Yeah, that gets tricky, too, I think, because when the city starts to grow even bigger, then you have even more events who want to come to town. Well, that's exactly it, Sally. And the fact is, it's the general budget they're pulling from. And with it being so tight as it is, when it's constantly in flux of what are they going to need to take from it every single year, I think Council Member Tova would like to just have things a little bit more set than trying to figure out month to month how much is going to be coming out for those fee waivers. All right, Kate White, I'll live at City Hall. Thank you.